Marriott called him every three months for three years, just checking in. How you doing? What's up? You guys need someone? Hey, I'm here if you need me. Wow. Every three months for three years. And finally, their head chiropractor, he couldn't make one game. And so like, hey, we need to come down to the stadium for this game. I think I was, was in the middle of a family dinner and I just dropped everything and I drove down to Carson in, in Los Angeles. And I showed up for that one game and I didn't hear from them for about three months. And then they said, we want you to come down now more frequently. Well, welcome everybody to another edition of our Life West Leadership Line. I'm Dr. Ron Oberstein, President of Life West, and I have the indomitable, the rock that I stand on with me, of course, my partner in health and life and, and uh, raising kids and chiropractic, Dr. Mary Oberstein. Hi, Mary. Good Thanks. to see you. We're in the same home, but in different rooms. And our guest today is a really um, phenomenal chiropractor just I, I had a chance to hear him speak on stage and I think I was in Las Vegas or or somewhere and Ryan you just rocked me to the bone I mean you were just incredible it's Dr. Ryan Zimmerman he he Ryan is a is an amazing chiropractor but he's also an amazing person you'll feel his heart you'll hear what he has to say today I want to just kind of give you the lowdown on on Ryan where he comes from 16 years in practice graduated in 2005 at that point in time it was Los Angeles College of Chiropractic now of course it's Southern California University of Health Sciences um yeah, he started off as an associate when he graduated. He's from the LA area, I believe, and started off as an associate for a year and a half. And then after a year and a half, went into his own practice uh, just outside of Pasadena uh, in uh, uh, La Pinata. Um, uh, he's been out doing what he's doing 16 years. He's teaching chiropractors uh, for the last three years on communicating chiropractic and working. He's got mentors that he's uh, that, that he's had. One of your big mentors was uh, Brad Lewacki. I know that because that's where I saw you. Um, and uh, he's, just a, he's just a phenomenal person. He's actually the uh, women's national team, the soccer team uh, for the U.S., uh, their chiropractor. Uh, he's supposed to be at the wave with us in August, but all of a sudden he got, you know, guys, things were in flux. Uh, next thing you know, boom, we need you in Tokyo because they weren't sure what was going on. And so now we're supposed to be in Tokyo with the women's national team. It's at the same time uh, as the uh, as the wave. Uh, so he had to cancel on us, but but it wasn't a cancellation. We're so happy that you can go and serve our country and serve our women and bring home the gold. And also, you're the soccer. Uh, you, you you take care of the soccer teams in LA, the two professional teams, right? The That's LA right. Soccer Club and the Football Club, and then the LA Galaxy. So you know you're doing a lot, man. And you know in what you're doing, I know you've got two kids, right? And yep. of course, a spouse. You know, and and uh, all those things. Children are what five years old and ten. Yeah, five and ten, exactly. Yeah, five and ten. You took that break in between and and uh, came back at it, and it's awesome. And uh, and I, we're just tickle pink to have you with us. So thank you for being with us today, Ryan. Thank you for having me. I appreciate yeah, thanks, it. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Absolutely. So I, I, I mean, my first question is how it all began. Tell us how you made the connection in the soccer world. Uh, so I played soccer. I played soccer in high school. I played through uh, through college as well, and just got into it. Uh, I was in the training room. I was actually a constitutional law uh, poli sci major in undergrad, and I had a really bad injury and ended up in the training room. And I said, I, I do not want to be in a courtroom. I want to be in a training room setting. And it kind of clicked. I had had chiropractic for migraine headaches when I was young. And so it was that literally that light bulb moment for me. I remember laying in my dorm room and being, this is what I want to do. I continued with the poli sci degree, but took all the science prerequisites uh, during, during the uh, weekends and went straight into chiropractic school. So you did new college or one of those, right? Those exactly. Yeah. All day, back in, <laughs> listen, for our viewers back in those days, you couldn't just graduate with an undergraduate degree, whether it was poli sci or art, like we could do now and just roll right into chiropractic as what we call an alternative track student. You couldn't do that. You had to like have your prerequisites, which were anatomy, physiology, chemistries, physics, oh. All that's a while. That, that was hard because I was living at Newport Beach. And so the weekends when Newport Beach is. You're surfing, uh, right? <laughs> I surfing. I'm going yeah, to yeah. New College on the weekends taking OCHEM oh. and BioCHEM. So, yeah, it was 
it was, it was a, um, it was good. It was good because I, I knew that it was deferred gratification. And for me, that was, it's always been a theme in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a big theme because it's like, you know, that discipline of, you know, going to school and you're at UC Irvine, obviously, if you're over in the Newport area, Orange County area, yeah. to be a soccer player over there along with I me, mean, a student athlete, along yeah. with the Irvine's no easy school to be in. Right. Um, right. That means that you, you know, your nose was to the grindstone, obviously. And, and then on weekends when you can take a breath and breathe, you were in a classroom sitting for eight hours on Saturday and Sunday, taking one class on two weekends. Right. And then exactly. to the next, yeah. man, that's just, that's crazy. That, that's crazy, crazy, man. But you know what? <laughs> Things happen for a reason. And then that's what crazy. happened? Like, like, you know, are you a sports chiropractor? First of all. So I, so when I got out, I was like, that's what, that was my idea. I was like, I'm doing this and nothing really, I was doing sports physicals at local high schools and nothing was really hitting. And then my sister, my older sister, she, um, she was pregnant with her first baby. She came in, I took, I went to ICPA, took a, you know, Gene Young, Tommy Webster technique. I went, I turned the baby and all of a sudden my sister went back to her midwife and this midwife just started flooding me with expected Uh Oh, wow. this is cool. These are kind of like athletes. They're, they're ready for, they're going to perform something. They're coming in in a pretty good state of health. And so practice, my paradigm practice kind of shifted towards families and uh, expectant moms. Years later, the, the sports thing kind of hit, but it, it, you know, I went off. And so now I have this really, I like the practice I have. It's a really cool integrated practice of professional and amateur athletes and then moms and children. And so it's a really fun, happy environment in my office. Uh, wow. And how, how'd you get, how did you make the connection with the teams? So I had the, I played soccer in high school with one of the players who was on the LA Galaxy. Uh, okay. So that I, means you weren't the best player on the team. Is that correct? What's that? That means you weren't <laughs> the best player on the team. <laughs> I was not the best player on the team, <laughs> I, but, but I called him, Mary, I called him every three months for three years, just checking in. How you doing? What's up? You guys need someone? Hey, I'm here if you need me. Wow. Every three months for three years. And finally their head chiropractor, he couldn't make one game. And so like, Hey, we need to come down to the stadium for this game. I think I was, was in the middle of a family dinner and I just dropped everything and I drove down to Carson in in Los Angeles and I showed up for that one game and I didn't hear from them for about three months. And then they said, we want you to come down now more frequently. And so, wow, that was, that was was just kind of that, that, you know, they always say luck is, is when preparation meets opportunity. And that was that moment, you know, what happened to the other chiropractor? Um, so he was, he was just working with a couple other professional teams, the Dodgers, the Lakers. So he was spread really thin Yeah. and they needed someone that could be more consistent. And so I was, I was able to, to be that person. Now at the time, the U S soccer was based out of that same stadium. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So I can get into that, how that, how that evolved as well, too, if you want me well, to. Well, I, I think the big thing is that, you know, you were here, you are with the galaxy, which was like, you know, the, the big team on the West coast at the time, yeah. you know, anything in LA is always big. Right. And yeah. I don't know if they had Landon Donovan at the time. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah. who they, cause I know he played for them. Yeah. And then how did the, how did the U S national team, the women's team come about? So, yeah. So Donovan Beckham Keen. Zlatan, I got to work with all those cool guys and they were okay. great, great to play with. So one day the head trainer for the U S soccer team came down and say, Hey, is your chiropractor in? I need an adjustment. And they're like, he's right over there. And I only went down on Thursdays, Thursday mornings. And so just timing would have it. And I adjusted him and I said, Hey, do you guys have a chiropractor? Again, just took the opportunity. Do you guys have a chiropractor in LA for the women's team like no we don't have one and so i said here's my cell phone give me your cell phone same thing then we just text it let me know when you're in la i follow them as far as when they're coming to la and next time they're in la he texted me said come on in and the team team was excited they were happy to have someone uh that was straight just doing chiropractic right and then we can kind of get into what that training room looks like if you want to but 
yeah, uh, please tell, give us an inside yeah, view yeah. of, yeah, what is, yeah, yeah, what's there? So it's, it's generally a, this has changed in the last year because of COVID, but it's generally a hotel, uh, a hotel banquet room because the, the national team does not have a facility, which blows my mind, but they don't have a training facility. They travel all over the country to different hotels and then they have to set up a whole training room. And so in that training room, you're going to have three trainers, a PT, two MDs, and then in another room, you're going to have three massage therapists. You'll sometimes have a nutritionist, but it's a big open area. And then you'll have the chiro. And the chiropractor was kind of something that they were oscillating in and out with. Um, so we were, I, I was able to help create a position. So there was always a chiropractor now in U.S. soccer, mm-hmm. women's law, uh, training room. But it's, it's cool because it's, it's multidisciplinary, but they, they you know, these, every, there's no ego in there. So they want you to, they're asking you questions. What are you doing? They're watching right. you. It's like you're asking them questions, which is really cool. It's a really good environment. Yeah. So Ryan, in my okay. head, I've got this hallucination, but maybe it's a reality. You can share that, you know, so, you know, the U S women's soccer team comes in, they go in for their training. Of course, they got to get their injuries taken care of. Right. And rightfully, you know, whether, whether they're hamstring, whether they're ankles, whatever it might be taped or whatever it is. Right. But there you are. And I just see them, every one of them just going to make sure that they have their nervous system functioning at a hundred percent. You know, that's not uh, that's not a fantasy fantasy. That's, that's, that's what it is. And that's something that I intentionally wanted to create. And so for me, it was more about getting them taken care of pre-game, pre-practice. So they really understood this was not a fix, but this was a prevention. Yeah, or performance-based, right? Performance, exactly. All of that. And yeah, I kind of got in trouble during uh, COVID because uh, I was in Florida and they came down and they, they laugh because every time I show up, there's a line and they were trying to keep all the girls in this like bubble yeah. and they were trying to keep yeah. all the women, you know, six to 10, 12 feet apart. And next thing you know, I'm there sitting on my table and you've got them all sitting in a semicircle just right <laughs> next to each other waiting to get adjusted. So they, I had a talking to, and I said, look, I had, I, I don't know. I just came in and they sat down. You guys have to regulate that. That's and right. So, that's right. My, like, my, bubble, not- <laughs> my bubble is the six feet table. And, you know, that's my bubble, you know? Yeah. That was not in your job description, was it? To- no, that's not, I'm not COVID regular. There's, they, they have those. Yeah. That's, that, that's really cool to hear just about, you know, really teaching them true chiropractic. Yeah. That's really, that, that's great. That, that was what was important from the start was a, you have the training, you have the sports performance, you have, yes. the this is what I'm here for. Yeah. Yeah. For your spine, yeah. for your nervous system. Let's get it moving. Yeah. Okay. And I think and I think for our listeners, you know, and our viewers, that it's, you know, to be a chiropractor for a, a professional team or for professional athletes, they aren't looking for the physical therapy. They're not looking mm-hmm. for the the taping or the this or the that because they get that. It's done by professionals who do that 100% of the time, what they don't get. And Mary, you remember we're taking care of the chargers, you know, for years and they're looking to, to just enhance their performance and get their body tuned up with something that they don't get anywhere else, you know, and that's what they're looking for. At least that's what was our experience. It sounds like the same thing with you. Yeah. And and, and we have a really, you know, us as chiropractors have a really unique tool in, in, in the fact that we can do it in a certain amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. We can see a whole team in 20, 30 minutes if we need to. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is great. So you can, you can really spread that chiropractic quick through that training. Yeah. So Ryan, I've got a question because how, first of all, how long have you been with the, with the, with the women's national team? So 2014, seven years. Okay. So seven years. Right. And you've gone through players, you know, like you, you were part of the team. When I, when I saw you speak, you were part of, I think you showed things at the world cup. You were at the world cup with them when they won the world cup. Right. Yep. How many world cups, one or two, or, or this? So I, came, I came in with them for the, I've been with them with two world cups. I've only traveled with them with one, which was Paris. I came in right before Canada and I tried to get to go to Canada, but I was literally like with them for a month. 
And I'm like, hey, any chance? And they were like, yeah, yeah nice try. <laughs> yeah. But, but Qatar coming up, you're all, you know, you'll be set to go to Qatar. So that's going to be the men's. Um, oh, that so is the men's. I'm so sorry. Yeah. That's okay. When are the women's? Where's the next so one? They, they were just in Paris in 2019. So we got to wait another two Three. years. So it's every four years. So 2019 and 2021. So or another 20. two years. And then we got the Olympics coming up again in France in 2024. And then I think it's in Los Angeles after that yeah. too. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm already kind of. Yeah, planning it out. Here's yeah. my question. Are, are the, is the men, do you know what the men's team are doing? Because obviously our women's are off the chart. Man, they're the best team in the world, right? You know, um, yeah. and I know our men's team is getting much better, right? And we're, we're doing some, you know, we're expecting some great things. Um, are they getting chiropractic care? They asked yeah. you. Yeah, they are. They have a great chiropractor. Um, and he's, he actually is, is uh, he was one of the chiropractors for the LA Galaxy and the LA Dodgers and the LA Lakers as well, too. And uh, he's he's really gra- laid some really good groundwork for for chiropractic as well too, uh, but he's, he's making sure he gets there. They're they're not at at the same level uh, internationally as the women are right now, um, but they're getting there, like you said. Yeah, they are. They really are. Okay. Um, you know, my question to you is this: because you know, ob- obviously, um, you've got a mission and you've got messages that you know that, that you want to put out and, and, you know, what is it like, you know, cause I, you know, here you are taking care of pregnant women here. You are taking care of families. you got a family practice. You're, you know, someone wouldn't walk in your office and say, Oh yeah, this is a sports place. Right. You know, they would look at it and say, this is a family place, you right. know? And so, so how would you say, or, or what would you say if someone was to ask you, what's your miss- mission and what's your message? Yeah. And that's, I know, and, and that's evolving for me uh, because because of all the different opportunities I, I've had and, and who I've been able to touch. So it's it's grown and expanded. And so for me, is to continue to be able to provide uh, a unique profession to not just the people in my community, but also now I, I have chiropractors from Spain calling me that work on the professional soccer teams. How do we do this? How do we communicate here? But to make sure that we we preserve it on an international level and what it is and and the fact that we work on the nervous system with our hands, with the tool, whatever it is, however you practice. So it's always been here. That's always been my mission, but now it's here as far as who's going to be able to hear it. Um, Working on professional athletes who have a voice. I want them to know what chiropractic is. My my philosophy, my paradigm as well too, because that goes so far. So when they go to Montana or they go to Houston, they know what they're looking for. Yeah. And so I don't know if that answers it. It's just for me. It's no, just- no, it did. It, it, yeah, it, it definitely yeah. did. Cause it, it sounds like, you know, you're looking to spread the message of chiropractic through the sport of, you know, of, of, soccer or whatever other teams you're taking care of, you know, BJ did that, right. You yeah. know, BJ spread the message of chiropractic through the circus. Right. And, and wherever people go, you know, it's not just going to a chiropractor. I hope they're telling people at some point when they really get it. Yeah. Well, part of our training regime, when they ask them, how are you guys so successful? Well, we train hard. We got great coaches and we got a great car. We got a great training team and we have yeah. a great chiropractor. Yeah. So they're one of the more popular players uh, on the U S women's team. Her name is Alex Morgan and she was in the world cup. She was, she was hit pretty hard uh, in against Spain and she on Fox news. She's like, I got to go see my chiropractor now. Yeah, and that was me, me back at the hotel. Right. So it was like, all right, cool. Like we know that that's, you know, after the game, but at the same time, she's saying chiropractic, she's saying chiropractic, which is really cool. Yeah. Wow. That's- that's great. And uh, Mary, we, were we just reading something? Alex Morgan, I mean, that woman is just incredible. She has a baby now, right? Yeah. And came back after having a baby. Still, She's still, yeah, still playing. Like at the top of her game. She's getting, so she gets her whole family adjusted, which is awesome, right? Like yeah. That's, that there it is, you know. She gets the yeah. picture. Yeah. yeah exactly. and, and, and kudos to you for communicating chiropractic yeah, to her, you know. 
thank you for that. It, it was, she, she, you know, as Ron was saying earlier, athletes are always looking for that edge, that performance there. And so it was, again, fortunate to be in that, in that realm. You know, and, and, and I think it's important, Mayor, one second. I think it's important yeah, yeah. for our listeners and our viewers to understand that you don't have to be, we tell you, you don't have to be a sports chiropractor, right? Right. Mm-hmm. You just need to know how to communicate chiropractic. That's it. And I, and I really think that, you know, being able to be introduced to ICPA and communicating to moms and expected moms, I think that that gave me a really good advantage in that sense, because you have to be so vitalistic and so holistic to be able to communicate. This is why you as a pregnant expected mom need chiropractic. This is why your infant, your newborn needs chiropractic as well. Too. Yeah. It's easy to communicate. You need it for back pain. But why does yes. my baby that's just born need it? So Yes, I agree. And I was thinking about that right now. You teach a lot of chiropractors about how to communi- communicate chiropractic. And to you, it's probably, it seems pretty simple, but to the chiropractors listening and to the students listening, can you share with us some some gold nuggets of how you communicate chiropractic? Yeah, I think that the the first thing is, and it took me a while to do that coming out of SCHs, is it, it always tie it into the nervous system. Always make it about the nervous system as much as you can. I know you guys do a really good job with this with Life West. I've had some students come through here that just know it, and it's their they they they'll keep me honest sometimes because it's easy to veer away from that when you sometimes get into the sports realm. But that's really our specialty is the nervous system. And I think that's the important part. Um, Understanding that you're not just communicating with your mouth, but with your hands. Right. I think that's important. The, the, The touch is a very powerful form of communication. And that's often lost as well, too. Uh, even if you use an instrument, I would recommend, you know, make part of your um, analysis with your hands. And so I think that's really important too. Um, and then the, the adjustment is the main thing, right? Uh, and that, that I learned when going into a training room, because they have everything. They have all of the, the, the e-stem and the cold laser and the cryo and all that stuff. So why am I there if I'm doing all that stuff? Why am I there? Well, I'm there to perform the adjustment. So just make sure you're making the adjustment the main thing. And so that's based around, you know, athletics, but you're teaching chiropractors communication, not in athletics, right? I mean, you're teaching them like how they communicate in their office, right? Yeah. So, so I'm going to put you on the spot and say, give yeah. me your, give me your top three tips or tool or you know what you teach others what's your top three uh uh, tips or tools that you teach them about communication so and i again i I would think i know that those are with sports but those are those fall into ron those fall into the my practice is break you know if if you're if you've got a shoulder issue how do we tie that into okay that's we're gonna check your c and t spine that's the brachial plexus it's like the sciatica the nerve so again just that table talk Mm -hmm. I think is really important there. And that was really honed for me in the training room, having to be separate from all of the disciplines. And so that's, I, that's where I've come up and I utilize all those things in in my practice. I'm sorry if I'm being vague, but it's just, those are, well, I'm I'm keep, I'm I'm going, I'm going deeper. Okay. And you're not being vague, but I'm going deeper. So, 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 so Dr. Mary and I are new chiropractors and we want to know how do we switch their paradigm from coming in, not sports now, families, how do we switch their paradigm from, you know, pain-based or maybe they had chiropractors that talked to them about pain before, or, you know, or they saw them and, you know, and they, they, that's what they were using chiropractic for to really this performance base for just as an individual, not an athlete, you know, yeah. what, what do you, what, what do we do? What are the three things top? I'm sure there's more than three, but. Yeah. Healing takes time is a big one, you know, helping them understand that. Um, I think I got this from Ron and you got this from Mary was that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I you see, that. we got to get a patent on that, right? That doesn't I mean, I expected that. I yeah. think those are those are really important ones, and that's something that I still do and I still use. And it's it's a there's it's so loaded, and I, I hope students understand that. And it seems so simple, but those words that doesn't surprise me. That's what I expected because mm-hmm. who you're saying that to? You're saying that to a patient that's in pain, and they need to know that that's okay. They need to know that healing 
doesn't always feel good. And so I, that's a really important one for me. Um, I think that, you know, one of the ones that I've learned from Brad, which is great is, you know, everyone's face down, like from an efficiency standpoint, running a practice, yeah. but then also like what it does when, you know, when they're, they're being able to shut off and just really relax. It seems, it seems again, like, oh, you're just having them lay down so you can go through the practice faster. No, so much is happening there. Sure. Right. They're, they're going, they're, they're coming out of that sympathetic state when they can just lay down and relax and you're the first thing they feel is your hands on their back. And that just that, that intentional touch. Yeah. And so I think that's, that's another important one as well, too. Am I, am I getting, am I getting? Some yeah, man, yeah, getting yeah that's, I mean, these are that's, the nuggets. That's right what for. I wanted to hear. <laughs> and I will tell you this because I'm, because this is who I, I got my teacher, you know, Dr. Mary here, you know, yeah. that the, the line that doesn't surprise me or whatever you want to say around that was it's yes, when they're in pain, but it's also when, you know, they walk in and say, doc, you know, my, my, my baby had their first bowel movement in three days and now they're going regularly after what you did. And it's the same thing that doesn't surprise me. You know, it's the same, same level. It's like, we were never surprised by the human body, you know? And I learned that from my wife listening to her going, I'm like in the back on man, jump up and down and say, Hey, write a testimony. And it's like, <laughs> it's just what it is. It's chiropractic, but really the truth is it's just their body, right? It's the, it's the yeah. human body. And that's what I follow up with when, when, when a situation like that, when they're coming in they they want to thank me for what their positive results. I say, that doesn't surprise me. Make sure you thank your body. That's right. Mm. I, I don't know where I got that from, but it, probably, you know, down probably from baby Paul where it came down the line, but make sure you, thank <laughs> you right. And that's, I think that's a really important one too, because it really brings them back to inside out. Yeah. Absolutely. And maybe, maybe I didn't jump up and down and maybe I didn't ask for a testimonial, but usually the last thing I would say then was don't keep us a secret. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It, it, that made me, that was authentic for me rather than here's a piece of paper or go on the internet and do a Yelp review. It's always, you know, whatever it was, I'd always say, just, just don't keep us a secret. Right. That, well, I, don't, I don't think they had Yelp back then. <laughs> well, I'm there's just, the line, right. That doesn't surprise me. Make sure you thank your body. Don't keep us a secret. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And Ron, we can add Ron. Do you know what Ron's line was in the practice? And it was, it was my version of, you know, of what I say to people. So that doesn't surprise me. His was, that's why we have you on a program. Yeah. It, yep. it go, it really, you can use it again for any, any situation. We use that all the time. Yeah. I don't know. Is Brad, is Brad paying you for that one, Ron? Cause that's like, uh, man, Brad, Brad took all my stuff, you know, and, <laughs> and I got to tell you something. He, he, I don't. I didn't have a lot to take, so he's he's built on that <laughs> tremendously, right? But he took all my stuff and he made it better. He's amazing, know? and I really mean that. He he just put it into like you know. Yeah, he's amazing. Right? So eloquent in how he can he can communicate and make things happen, you know. But I will tell you this about the face down thing, you know, which if he has a yeah, I love that. It's that it's in the, you know this is what we used to teach is that it's not just that they're shutting up and that's really true. They're get, getting out of their sympathetic. They're all the stuff that they walk in with and just let them just, but also you're talking to their innate mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not they're educated. So when we'd ask a question and say, Hey, you know, tell me something positive today that happened. And they go to look up like this. We put their head right back down, you know, <laughs> and because I don't want to hear what their educator is going to say to me. I want to hear innately what they're saying and when we ask questions like that they're able to to answer and now we're getting into a whole different conversation with them you know yeah it's so i cool. love it it's so okay. cool ryan you are man you know you you're, you're like at that cusp right now you know and i and i love it you know you're you're in the game you're playing hard you're doing the stuff with the athletes and i just feel like something just something's gonna you know you're doing big stuff by the way i mean listen i'm not minimizing yeah. any of this something's going to bust loose where, where they're going to have you taking care of all the Olympic teams or running, whatever. I just sense something. And I have to tell you this. I sense it from your humility. I sense it from your, um, your certainty, you know, and I also sense it with, you know, certainty and humility are, are two components that some people might think, well, when you're certain, you're certainly not human, you know, you're not, it's, there's no humility in it, but there is, you know, and that's that piece of, of that I think that really takes us in a, in a very strong distance. I don't need to prove anything to you. I know it. And if you just give me the chance to show it, you know, it will happen, you know, and, and I just, something big's going it, to, it's already has, I mean, my gosh, you're the national 
team, you know, women's, you know, soccer team chiropractor, which is like, you know, the pinnacle of soccer, at least, at least in the U S you know? Um, so congrats on all you're doing, man. We really, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of you, man. That means a lot coming from you guys. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. And I, and I want to know if your wife would agree with me that your superpower is perseverance. I mean, I'm making those phone calls and texts like <laughs> every quarter for three years. Like, She's like, she like cowers to that stuff, right? She's, she's like, I can't believe you're doing that. And I'm like, I, it's. Wait, it's, she still says that even though from where you, no, where you no, are. Now she knows. Now she knows. Now yeah. she should be just like, you know, honey, whatever you, whatever you want to do. Now she <laughs> says, now she's the only thing she says, I'm, she's, oh, you're just lucky. Uh, I think she's got to text you like about every, every, every day to make sure you bring home the almond milk, you know, kind of deal, you know? Brad and I was, I was joking about my, like, you know, I got a world cup trophy, but I still come home and do the dishes. That's like, exactly. Like, I was just exactly. going to say, she's just, she's keeping you humble. She's, exactly. she, is, she is my, yeah, she's definitely like Ron said, she's my rock. That's I love great. it. Hey man, we've reached that time period, you know, I mean, I think we could just talk forever and I, I so appreciate all you're doing. Um, and I know that our students, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we've already have your website down and all that stuff that they can be able to reach you at and see what you're doing. And, you know, and hopefully you'll be mentoring our Life West students, which I know you're already doing, but more and more and more of them. Um, but we got two final questions we want to kind of we wrap we wrap the Life by Life West shows up with. And uh, Mary, Mary I'll, I'll let you do the first one. OK, the first one. The first one is we need you to go back in time and we need to, you to give advice to Ryan as a chiropractic student, what would you say to him if you could go back and speak to him today? I would say the bad news is that it's hard. The good news is that it's hard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's it's profound. Uh, it's, it's, I'm training right now for, for a 50 mile hike. And I heard that's like an ultra marathon kind of uh, quote. And I was like, Oh, it's just a good life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to think about that later today. Yeah. 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 I like it. And the, coming from a guy who was at UC Irvine playing soccer and a student athlete, and then taking weekends when people are at the beach and where you could just chill and you're in new college doing all those courses, man, that's like, you know, yeah. the good news is hard, you know, yeah. you know, the bad news is hard, but the good news is hard, you know? Yeah. I think that's so important is to understand is that those, the, the hard things are good. That's, that's where you get the growth, right? That's the growth mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Steel on steel sharpens the, sharpens the, uh, the sword, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. So second question, same thing, but now Dr. Ryan Zimmerman, who's in practice 16 years, gets to speak to Dr. Ryan Zimmerman, who's just starting practice. What words of wisdom would you give yourself, you know, not as a student now, but as a new practitioner? Uh, I would say, I mean, to me, and I think I came, I touched on this earlier, was make sure that you communicate the subluxation to the patients. I think that was something I, I moved away from for a while. Mm. And it was when I came back to the subluxation and the adjustment and, and the pure chiropractic, that's when a lot of growth happened for me because then that's when I became the specialist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. That's, that's great. great. Brian, thank you, man. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you for sharing, you know, what you've shared today. I know that, you know, whether they're whether we're talking to students or we're talking to people in practice for 35 years, you know, there or more, they're going to get a lot of what you did. And I think, you know, one of the big things that I picked up is that um, it doesn't matter what you do in your office. You know, you don't have to be a sports chiropractor to take care of sports teams. Right. And you can be a sports chiropractor and take care of pregnant women and babies. You know, it's it's everything. So so thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything you did. Um, you're awesome, brother. Well, thank you guys for, for spreading the word and doing what you guys do at the university and, and keeping the profession the way it is. So I, I appreciate you having me. Yeah. Well, thank you too. And we, and yeah. we will continue to do that. Uh, Mary, I think we hit that time period where, uh, we where we're ready to, to close it up. So I want to thank all of our listeners. 
Make sure you keep coming back, listening to Life by Life West. We drop a new episode every two weeks, the opposite uh, week or two weeks, you know, continue like that. We drop our life leadership lines. Uh, you'll get something out of all of it. Keep spreading this word, spreading the message of, of, of you know, Dr. Ryan and everybody who's on our show so that you can, uh, people, chiropractors need this. This is the food that we want to provide so people can have that. So thank you for being with us. Thank you for being loyal. Uh, take care of your loved ones. Uh, keep hugging and loving them and, and make sure that you take care of yourself. And uh, don't forget to give, do, love, and serve in your practice to the most, to the best of your ability. And we love you and we appreciate you. And we will see you again at our next Life West, Life by Life West. So thank you so much. Thank you.